Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's good to be with you. Oops, I got some feedback here. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So, should be fine. Is that fine? Oh, yeah, it's fine now. Okay. Thank you guys for joining me today. My name is Solomon Nizanga Shams. It's so good to be with you, uh, with you guys. And uh, I hope you're having a wonderful week and uh, everything is going on well. Uh, I see a few comments already coming in. So thank you guys, thank you. My name is Solomon Nizanga Shams and this is Solomon's Temple. If this is your first time or you're not a regular here, thank you so much for joining us. This is a platform that we get to discuss issues concerning the Christian faith. Uh, just to summarize it, that's what we do. We investigate, we ask questions, we explore, we do interviews. Uh, we do all sort of things just to be able to discuss our faith because we feel our faith is very important and very, very much a part of our lives. So thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do so right away. Solomon's Temple, there are other great videos there that is really going to be a blessing to you. Uh, thank you, Sonny. Sonny here is saying good may god empower you more and more thank you <clears throat> thank you jess jess is saying good afternoon uncle solomon good afternoon to you too yeah, good afternoon choni uh sakani regularly you're here thank you thank you uh thank you karen uh she said hi malume uh bongani from nail spread you don't miss it isn't it <laughs> peggy from um zambia is this your first time peggy I haven't, I've, I've seen some Zambians here, but I'm not sure if I, uh, I have uh, really uh, uh, seen you around, but thank you so much guys for joining. I, I have been a bit busy uh, lately. Uh, thank you from the USA, Aminata. Yeah, Aminata Kamara, thank you so much. Aminata, are you from where? From West Africa, Sierra Leone, Guinea, uh, Senegal, maybe <laughs> originally. Uh, yeah, but you're from the US, you live in the US. So uh, I've been doing quite a lot of background uh, work lately. Uh, even yesterday, I thought I was going to do a broadcast, but I was doing a bit of background work. You see, I think a lot of what people see here. They don't know that there's also a lot that happens behind the scene. I'm not just Solomon who comes here and have a broadcast. No, it's, it's, it's more than that. You know, I there are a lot of issues that I never bring here to discuss because I, I, I deal with them privately, right? Uh, issues of pastors. Right now I'm dealing with issues of, uh, of, a, of a very prominent pastor uh about an issue that happened 30 years ago you know but the person who is sort of like the victim she hasn't healed yet you know she's like what 43 now and i'm trying to bring them together to seek you know to forgive and to talk and if there's need for forgiveness you add for forgiveness you reconcile just so there's going to be healing so i do quite a bit of that behind the scene you know um it's not everything that we need to bring here and, and talk about it. We only bring things here to talk about it when behind the scene, uh, the one person doesn't want to take responsibility for, for, for their action, you know? So I spent a lot of time yesterday. I actually had to go out of the province to the free state and, and to try to, uh, to make sure we mediate because God would want us to deal with things without going to the media, without dealing with it in the media, without dealing with it in court. God would want us to deal with things, you know, privately, especially when we say we're all Christians, where there needs to be repentance, confession that needs to be done, uh, where there needs to be forgiveness to be given and all that kind of stuff. And I've dealt with a lot of issues with pastors and prophets behind the scene that way. You know, so the, the people that I think in Solomon is all about bringing issues out and talking about that on YouTube or on TV 
then you don't know me or you're just trying to be biased because there's a lot of issues that I know that I, I never brought it out here. Some of it, I would never even bring it out here because it was dealt with privately. The pastor confessed, the pastor took responsibility, the pastor, um, the bishop said, okay, I'm sorry, and all that kind of stuff. And that's what it is, you know. But today, <laughs> I want to talk to you about an issue that is just so exciting for me. Why is it exciting for me? You know, because for me, this is what the real church should be all about. The real church is about living the four walls of the building and going into society, going into the community, going into our cities, going into our towns, going into our nations and bringing change and impacting lives where there are needs. So today I want to speak to you about a church uh, in Ghana that builds prisons. <laughs> how you know how does that, how does that just feel you know church building prisons i don't know about you but for me it's just exciting why because we're used to churches or members of churches churches going into prisons to minister uh to uh to do services on a sunday i used to do quite a lot of prison ministry we go to, on a sunday we go we do discipleship training we do training during the week, uh, you know, uh, anger management training uh, for the inmates, for the prison wardens. But this one is a church in the nation of Ghana. The church. This church is called the Church of Pentecost. Now, when I saw that story and I saw the name of the church, I was like, wow, I know this church. Because they have branches in a couple of places in South Africa, here in Johannesburg, in Pulukwani, in uh, PE, in Cape Town. And there was a time where their pastors were doing uh, Bible training. And I actually went there and taught them for a week about media. And I was like, wow, this is exciting. I actually know this church. I've interacted with the leader of the church here in South Africa. And this church is straight out of the nation of Ghana. And if you go to Europe, a couple of countries, the UK, the US, you know, they have church plants there they have branches there and i feel it's really exciting that we don't depend on the government to do certain things but the church is taking opportunity now this church built a 30 bed prison facility for the government in ghana in the ashanti region in ghana 300 bed rather not 30 300 bed facility. I'm going to show you the photos and I'm going to show you a video courtesy of one of the guys in Ghana, just so you can see. Now, for me, if you're talking about making a change, this is what it is. This is what it is. They don't just go to the church, to, to the prison, to minister to the inmates, the prisoners, but they're saying, no, we have to improve your, your facility. Your facility is not well enough. We need to improve your facility. We need to make sure you, you are comfortable, you know, because you see, when people go into prison, they just feel like probably that's the end of their lives. People don't like them and all that, but they're giving them dignity. Yes, that's the word actually, giving them dignity. And also sometimes the government do not have enough money budgeted to to build a prison how and 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 build a prison and see how they can uh how they can uh how they can uh what do you call it how they can uh, uh reach out to them and 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 they don't have enough money but now they're saying let's build it so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you a video of that of the ch of the prison just so you can see the video and and then we talk about it so this is the video This is the standard part of the prison. So the first guard, the visitors man. And 
this is the administration block the administration block So this is the kitchen. This is a high kitchen. Yeah, about two. Kitchen. So this is the chapel. <laughs> and this is a Baptist tree. Again, this is a workshop. A workshop for the prisoners. Cupping. So this is the cutting tree shop. The cutting tree shop. A pack for the prisoners. It's a computer lab. The dormitories. Metric block. Shrooms. So let's take a look inside the washroom. This is another dormitory. Another dormitory for the inmates. This looks great. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Pastor. How are you? Um. <laughs> Hold on for me, Julia. Can you call you in a few minutes? Not a problem. Maybe you can also send me a text. That's fine. I just want to know. Okay. Okay. Can... Just hold on. I'm live on YouTube. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just so they don't hear your conversation. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I was just uh, picking a call. What do you think about that? What do you think? Of, what, what, do you, what do you think about that? This is a, a church building that. <laughs> this is what Sakani is saying. She's saying, I believe the government prison doesn't look like this. You, you need to... This is a church, guys. That's who we are. We need to take this kind of influence, this kind of positions. They're not building it because they're looking for accolades from the government. or No. And this is the first prison of the many that they intend to build. This is the first, this is, this is the first prison. Aminata here is saying, this is beautiful. Let me tell you, let me tell you, you know, 
the church built the, 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 this infrastructure, the prison, and then they donated it to the government. Because there's a lot of congestion in the prisons and all that kind of stuff. And you can see they even have a chapel in there. So it's fully furnished. It has three dormitory blocks with a capacity to accommodate 300 inmates. 300 inmates, right? It has an ad administrative block, a chapel, which will serve as a classroom, a football pitch, a baptistry, modern washrooms, merchandise boreholes, offices, infirmary, workshops, and other auxiliary facilities. You know, I mean, what else do you want? What else do you want? For me, it just gives me so much joy that we can have a church do that. Let me show you some of the photos that I actually that I actually have. That in case uh, some of you guys that missed the video, uh, you know, these are some of the photos that, that that actually. This is the photo of the facility. You can see like a high, you can see like a high, uh, like a shot from the a high angle shot. You can see it. Because prisoners also, in, they need to be treated with dignity in the U.S. and other places. When you're in prison, I mean, you, you live a very good life, but you know that in Africa we struggle because sometimes we see prisoners as, as outcasts of societies. Yes, they have done wrong. Yes, they have sinned. But at the same time, how do we make sure we give them dignity? This is inside the prison. You can see. And this is the name of the prison here. A Jura camp prison. I mean, you can imagine how much, how many millions they pump in here to get this together. These are shots of the birds where they sleep in the dormitories. You know, places where they, they could wash their hands. You know, it's like some some university campus somewhere. <laughs> you know, see where they can learn some trait, some skill. Looks like sewing machines. You know, it, it, it gives me such joy because God has called us. Sometimes we stay in church too much and we have the resources. How can we identify a hospital somewhere? You know, if you're a church that has a lot of people and all that and you have the money, how can you build a hospital in every city and you say the hospital is for free? Or you build it and give it to the government? How can you build schools? Because that's when society is going to know the relevance of the church. That's when society... Now you're building this prison and you put that prison there. Why wouldn't the prisoners, everybody that goes in there, actually become a Christian? <laughs> Why wouldn't their family say... Ah. You need to become a Christian. But, and like a nation in Ghana where, oh, okay, in Ghana you have majority Christians. Maybe you have 60 or 65% Christians, but there's also a huge population of Muslims. This in itself would give them a food for thought. That's what it is. And I don't know any other way to, to say this, but I just get so excited, you know, uh, when I see this. This is what it means to be a salt and a light. And I'm just glad that the Church of Pentecost in Ghana, I'm going to try to see maybe I could actually speak to one of their leaders uh, in Ghana just to tell us about this, this project and what they intend to do. Because they intend to build, you know, uh, they intend to build about five more prisons around the country between now and 2023. Around the nation of Ghana, they intend to build, outside of this prison that they built, they intend to build other five other prisons around the nation of Ghana. I wish we could see a lot of that in, Ga in Nigeria. I wish we could see churches doing that. But all the churches do, you know, majority of them is take, 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 and they don't give back to society. I wish we could see some of this in, in, in nations like Zambia, like Kenya, like in Uganda. I wish we could see some of this in Tanzania. I wish in Cameroon, I wish we could see some of this. 
in South Africa is not really a major problem because there's a lot of resources. So the government built uh, prisons, but still the prisons are still congested. And it's not healthy to have congested prisons. And for me, that's an example of scriptures. Just like the Bible says in Matthew 25, 43, I was a stranger and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison and you did not look after me. Look at the last part. I was sick and in prison and you did not look after me. But they built a prison. They put on the facilities. I'm sure they're still going to support them. That is, there's no way someone would say you did not look after me around that area. That you, that's what it means to look after someone who is in prison. It's just so amazing. But guys, uh, it's sad, but it's just, it's just the truth. I, I was going to talk about something, but I think I'm going to talk about it. Maybe I'll talk about it a bit later. But I just wanted to let you know, this is what the gospel means. We go out there. When you support and give to churches like this, then you know that the money that you're giving to God is really being used for what God wants it to be used. So I encourage you, you can do some of these things yourself. Some of you guys support Solomon's Temple. You give us money uh, for our operations and our legal fees. And I thank you. That's another way of doing it. There are many different ways. So thank you, guys. That's all I wanted to say now. Uh, but I wanted to, there's a breaking news right now. If you're watching me, you know Bishop Makamu, who allegedly abused a girl. He was arrested just a few minutes ago. Just a few minutes ago, he was arrested. I'm not going to say much. I'm going to do a broadcast later and give you more details. Uh, it didn't have to come to this if apologies was given and things were sorted out. But thank you, guys. Uh, thank you, every one of you. Thank you. I uh, appreciate every one of you. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all your information. Thank you for all your information. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I see all your comments. Uh, <laughs> Nilo? Nilo from Equatorial Guinea is saying my first time live on late. Ah, don't worry. Uh, you're going to make it sometimes. Uh, thank you, Queen. Uh, thank you, Queen. Appreciate you. Yes. Uh, Polelo is saying, Uncle Solomon, did you just say Makamu was arrested? Yes. Makamu was arrested just a few minutes ago. I'm confirming, I'm telling you, the news is not out there, but I can tell you it's confirmed. So thank you guys, God bless you. May the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you. May you continue to be light. May you continue to be people that will build, you know, not just prisons, but, but would 